four-minute workout that will transform your body in three days. The journey to your dream body might seem long and strenuous, but it's actually way faster and easier than you think. This simple three-day exercise plan will work wonders for your body, especially around your tummy. And you'll need just three to five minutes of your time a day. Sound like a dream come true? Well, put your sportswear on and let's do this. Naturally, we're gonna start with the three exercises for day one. It'll only take you three minutes to complete this workout, so no excuses. But of course, if you have the time and strength for more, you can do this session twice. Let's go. Exercise number one, the skyscraper. Get into a straight arm plank with your glutes squeezed tight. Then rotate your body to the left until you're in a side plank. Reach your left arm upward so that your body forms the letter T with your two arms. And then simply rotate your body back to a straight arm plank. Follow that up by doing the same thing on the right side as well. Just like with all our exercises today, we're gonna do this one for one minute straight. Are you ready? Then let's begin. Planking is truly a miracle exercise, working pretty much the entire body and especially the arms and core. If it's a little hard for you, slow down a bit and don't forget to breathe properly. Inhale when you're in the starting position and exhale as you rotate your body. A couple of seconds left. Wonderful! Exercise number two, the windshield wiper. Lie down on your mat with your arms spread to the sides and your palms down. Put your knees up, then straighten your legs and hold them together throughout the whole exercise. Drop your legs over to the left side, then come up and drop them over to the right side. See, you're a human windshield wiper. Go on, get wiping, one minute on the clock. This is the exercise that improves your core strength like no other. It'll easily carve out those abs and obliques. While you're doing it, make sure that your back remains flat on the floor. Exhale as you rotate your hips and lower your legs. Three, two, one. Fantastic. Number three, army crawls. Get into an elbow plank and squeeze those buttocks tight. You know the drill by now. From this position, take a few steps forward using your arms and legs and then crawl backward to where you were. Nice and easy. Let's get going. You won't recognize your body if you do army crawls regularly. With a strengthened core and upper body, you might just achieve the body of a real soldier. Just try to hold your hips low and make sure your body remains parallel to the floor for this exercise to work its magic to the fullest.
We're almost done. And nice job. That's it for day one. How are you feeling? Now relax a bit and see what the exercises for day two and three are all about. You can come back to this video tomorrow to actually do them. And don't miss our exciting bonus at the end. So day two will consist of four exercises that are a little more difficult. Get ready to pump up the effort. Exercise number one, the break dancer. Get into a straight arm plank. From this position, take your left foot, slide it up through your plank to touch the right side of the floor. Then take your right foot, slide it through, and touch the left side of the floor. Keep doing that for the next minute. All right, let's bust a move. The breakdancer exercise rocks your obliques, abs, and lower back. It also significantly strengthens your shoulders, arms, and legs while improving your cardiovascular fitness. If the exercise seems too easy for you, just increase your speed. Five more seconds. And very nice. High five. Exercise number two, the skydiver. Start the exercise by lying on your stomach with your hands behind your head. Raise your arms and legs upward, squeezing your glutes. Hold this position for about 10 seconds and then get back into the starting position. We'll do 10 second rounds for the next minute. This exercise engages your lower back muscles and your buttocks, making it one of the most effective exercises for improving your core strength and changing your body for the better. You're doing great, keep going. Just a couple more seconds and done. Number three, the dead bug. Lie on your back with your knees and hips bent at 90 degree angles. Hold your arms straight up above you. Extend your left leg and reach your right arm towards the floor. Squeeze your glutes and repeat the exercise with the opposite arm. It's time to start. It might have a gross name, but this exercise will do you a lot of good. It strengthens your abs and core without putting strain on your lower back, and that's a rare find. It's irreplaceable for toning the body and getting a truly gorgeous physique. To do it properly, make sure that your back remains flat on the floor. And time's up. Exercise number four, threading the needle. Start this exercise in a side plank. From this position, rotate your hips towards the floor and reach your free arm all the way through as if you were threading a needle. Rotate back to the side plank and repeat the exercise. Don't forget to switch sides as well. Ready, set, go. 
This exercise engages both primary and secondary muscle groups, like your shoulders, upper chest, neck, and back, among others. That's why it's really popular for different purpose workouts. And that's it for day two. On day three, you'll be doing four exercises again. If performed right, they'll probably feel super challenging, but don't give up. The results are so worth it. Exercise number one, crab kicks into Superman. Get into a crab position, lift your left leg, and try to reach your left foot with your right arm. Then flip over into a straight arm plank. Raise up the same arm and leg into a Superman position. Flip over and repeat the same movements with the opposite side. Whew, talk about coordination. But enough talk, let's go. Crab kicks, just like pretty much all our exercises today, develop core strength and tone your legs and abdominals. If you can, try to increase the speed a little bit for better results. Just 10 seconds left. Good job. Exercise number two, star leg raise. Get into a side elbow plank. From this position, raise your top leg toward the ceiling and then bring it back down. One minute on the clock starts now. You're sure to find this exercise on the top list for ab and leg workouts. And that's no surprise, because it's proven to be incredibly effective and beneficial for achieving a desired slim physique. You're doing great. Just make sure your toes are pointed forward. And stop. Exercise number three, side V-ups. Start the exercise by lying on your side. Raise both legs up together, reaching your left elbow toward your knees. Then go back to the starting position and repeat the exercise. Be sure to balance everything out and switch sides. Come on now, we can do this. This exercise is a real challenge because it engages a lot of muscle groups, but it's totally worth the effort. It significantly strengthens your core and improves your stamina. Try to go slowly and breathe properly, inhaling as you go back to the starting position. Keep going.
One more time. And you did it. Take a quick breather and we'll finish the workout with today's last exercise. Exercise number four, under and over. Start the exercise in a standing position. Squat to one side as if you're trying to get under an imaginary fence. Then step in the same direction as if you're trying to get over the fence first with one leg and then the other. Repeat the same motions in the opposite direction. Let's take a deep breath and begin. The under over exercise works your buttocks and legs, improving your balance and stamina. It can be pretty hard to do, but that just means that the muscles are working. If you do it regularly, it'll get way easier. Three, two, one, all done. Props to you for completing the whole three-day training session. Relax and listen up because we have an exciting little bonus that you'll want to know. As we mentioned before, all of the exercises we've done together are aimed at targeting your core. The core is made up of your abdominal, lower back, pelvis, and glute muscles. Many of us deal with back pain on a regular basis. Yet not everyone knows that chronic back pain can be a side effect of a weak core. Therefore, strengthening the core muscles will help make your back way stronger and pain-free. Start doing these exercises on a daily basis, and you'll kill two birds with one stone. Get your body in the shape you've always dreamt of while kicking annoying back pain to the curb. Definitely a super combo. What habits do you think can help keep the body in good shape? Tell us in the comments below. Don't forget to share this video with all your friends who dream of transforming their bodies too. Stay on the bright side.